There's a mystery behind your birth. Yes, sir. And that has really affected you. It's true, sir. This is snake spirit. Yes, sir. And there is this snake spirit that follow you. It's true, sir. Anywhere you are going, snake. When I was a mother, built a temple for me that I'm a twin. I was doing mystic things, sir. They built a temple for you. Yes, sir. And I, I had a stone that I was worshipping the stone. Every month, or if I want to be sick, or want to eat far, or anything, I have to inflict sickness on my body to fall conversion or to harm any person in our family because I want to eat far, or the temple need blood. My mother even and told me. There's this snake spirit that is following you, and you have had two children, two husbands. Yes, sir. And now I'm having a boy and a girl with two husbands. Two husbands? Yes, sir. But now you're about to go to the third marriage. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Come. Mr. Benjamin. Obi. <laughs> so, you have two fathers. Yes, sir. Two men with children. Yes, sir. This is the third man that wants to come in now. Yes, sir. So there is a mystery behind your birth. It's true, sir. And that has really affected you. Yes, sir. Until my uncles even asked my mother to go and put me beside the river that I'm over and Jane. I'm rejected everywhere in my family. This is my only comfort in my life. It's the only man to give me peace. You two, Thank you, sir. I'm so afraid, father. You are just confused about life. I'm so afraid. Nobody to help, no one. Father, I'm confused. I'm confused. Nothing to show for, nothing to show for, everything about me, nothing, nothing, nothing. So, this can only work when you are set free. Okay? Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. You need to be set free. Amen. Come on. Say you want me to live in Come on. Come on. Out. In the name of Jesus Christ, you snake spirit, out of her, out of her, in the name of Jesus Christ, come on. You are receiving the liberation, al igual que su esposo, palabra profetica en ese culto profetico con el siervo. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Sigue habiendo poder de Dios manifestándose. Ok. Por intenciones humanas, sino por revelación de Dios. So you are free. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. Yes, libre. Ok, it's over. I was the goddess of the land. Precisely, I was a land mermaid. An idol from my mother's side that their forefathers were worshipping. So I used it as a contact to come into this land because I was looking for a lineage to come as a human on the earth. So my mission on earth was to bring children to our kingdom, to initiate other children. They should be like me because I needed people to accompany us so that at least they should fulfill what I could not do in our kingdom. And my mission here was that I should become a rich doctor. So when my mother was pregnant for me, during my, my time of coming out, she was beside the rural stone fish. A man walked to him and said he wants to eat and he does not have money. Blindly, she never knew what she was carrying in her womb. But never knew the person that comes was my husband. Just to look, how am I referring on the world or how am I going to come on the world? So he came to see her, but she never knew what she did. If my mother could not give the man the fish to eat, after my birth, my mother could have died. And she gave the fish and the man ate. The man spoke to her that whatever you want, let it come fast. Oh, my mother said that yes. And the man took few steps ahead of her and the man disappeared. Let her on. She felt on level. She was like, she never knew what was happening. She was just restless and she thought she was doing it all by herself, never knew. 
there was a mystery happening in her life because I was a child that I was not supposed to be touched by human hand, except those that are spiritual that can touch me. When I wanted to come out, she hide it. People were asking, are you on labor? You want to cause an abortion? She was just hiding it. So I was very happy because my spiritual husband gave her the spirit of hidden things in her. So she was acting out of her own thinking that she was the one doing it. So the time that I was to come out, I have to come out with my leg to show her a sign. But still, yes, she could not understand. And a woman that came and hold my leg, that woman was also a part of us, but we are not from the same kingdom. The woman wanted to initiate me in a marine kingdom of which I'm a queen of the land. I came out with a mark, a wound on my hand, the two hand. The one on my right hand was given to me by that woman that held me, insisting that I should be a marine spirit. And the one given to me by the other hand was given to me by my spiritual husband, saying that this mark that I'm giving to you, you will never go to any other man. You will remain my wife forever. I was having a star in my eyes. The star in my eyes indicated that I'm a great queen. So the star in my eyes was to attract men, which meant to seduce them. Any man that looks deep into my eyes, you fall lost on me. My mother never knew if I can creep, that you can say that a child is struggling to creep. I never did it. Even to hold something to work, I never did. But when they put food, they want to come. I've eaten the food. They would come and see a sweater, they would see physics, but they would not see any on my body. My body is always neat. So my husband used to come to me in the form of that snake that they say. And my servants will also come. When they come, they will be like a spy around. I will get up, I will do my things the way I want to do them. I will play with them and I will get up and eat. When they are coming back, they will come and tell me that those people are coming. I will come back and sit like a child of which they never knew that they are living with an ancient woman of 400 years. So whenever they put the food, my mother will come and say, if you like, you walk. If you like, you don't walk. You will never disturb me for me not to do my things or not to go to school. I'll just look at the innocent woman and I will laugh at her because she never knew the kind of devil that she was living with. So whenever she wants to breastfeed me when I was still tender around two months, I will always show her a sign by turning my eyes like a snake and she will have a fear on, on her and she will scream on her own mother. When her mother wants to come, I will behave back like a child. I wanted to taste her to see if truly she can carry the woman that she is carrying as a child. All those things I was doing because I wanted to really taste her faith. That she stands her ground like a mother. That is why I spare her life. If not so, I could have killed her alone. So since I could not walk, they have to make a sacrifice. A witch doctor came and said, they should make rice and beans, red beans. And my own fish that they have to put, they should put me a very big fish that they have not cut it. A part of the head, they should remove it. Because the man knows that my secret is that I should not eat anything head. Any animal that have head, I will not eat it. Every fish, I was not eating it. So I ate the food with my two hands. I was not eating it alone, but I was eating it with my husband and my friends around. So I was eating it, they thought that I was eating it alone. She came that I finished my food. Everybody, children were coming and holding my food. Walk faster, walk faster. It's only children that was there that know us, that we know ourselves, that we were just laughing and smiling. But other children that came there and ate those food, all of them were possessed because they were eating with people that they don't know. So we have to initiate all of them. So later on, after some few days, I started walking. I got up. I was not walking like a child that is learning how to walk. I was peeping on them to see if somebody is around because what they did, they blocked my eyes. I could not see. So I was peeping on them to see if they could see me. I never knew they were around. So she came and she saw me struggling to walk, to peep. She went and called her mother. I come and see you. That child is walking. My grandmother came and look at me and say, yeah, who is holding you not to walk? So from then, I just have to prove myself who I am to start walking. As I earlier said, I was the queen, not only a queen, the queen of the goddess. I gave my mother a name to give me, and Sunalin. Sunalin means the queen of the goddess in our language. And I was rebehaving the way she was. So when I started growing, I have to fly. 
When I sleep straight, nobody wakes me up because if you wake me up from now to tomorrow, I will not get up. I will fly in other countries, in different lands, go even in Nigeria, I will take powers, go in underworlds and take powers, even in my own place that I don't have to cross. I will stand and demand powers from the mermaid to bring it so that I should be keeping the powers. When I grow up to a full knowledge that I can operate it with a medicine, I will do it. During the day, I will also fly and take and when I come, I will take it, I will keep it to myself. My mother never knew what is happening. But when I got up, I tell my grandmother that I flight and went to this side. My grandmother said, God forbid, my granddaughter cannot fly. After all those things, I look at my grandmother. She loved me so much. My grandfather also loved me. So my grandmother built me an, a temple. That temple was there, giving an instruction to my husband, that my spiritual husband. They should put me that altar in order a communication between me and them in, their, in our kingdom. So in that shrine that they wanted to put, the people that was ordaining the shrine, they have to give me their own snake python with a golden head and a chameleon. A chameleon is that nobody will ever know my real identity. And the snake was my missionary. I can send or to monitor your career, monitor your homes and destroy. Because there are times that my mother will even keep money. And she will not see the money. She will start saying, I want to go and buy my fish. I want to do this. I want to do that. She will not know that I'm the one that has hide the money. When they are discussing in the house, when people, even you can sit in your house, I will turn either a snake, a compound snake. You just say, a compound snake, when you want to come around, you will not see the snake. You cannot kill the snake. So I had the opportunity to go around in anybody's house anytime I want to visit your home, to destroy your home, to destroy your happiness. When I want to achieve my evil desires, I will call my spiritual husband. And any time he wants to come, I will go to the toilet. I will cross my leg inside the toilet, and I started doing an incantation. When I start the incantation, he will come and direct me what to do. And when I'm going, I will slip out my body like a snake. When I'm sleeping out, the mission is already being carried. I will sleep into your house, and my mission will start. When you scream, that is when I will run back to my shadow. When I sleep into your house and I heard of your discussion, I don't take any kind of discussion. I take discussion that suits me. If you are a businessman, I crumb down your business. If you are sick for a child, I will give you a wrong child. I will take a wrong child in our kingdom. I will possess you so that when the child will come, Every day the child will be on and off in sickness. If the child is not sick, you will be sick. When the child, you have money, that is when the child will fall sick. So that we should need money in our kingdom and to do other things. When I speak, nobody oppose. Even my mother, when she talked at me at times, I will look at her. I said, this little girl, why are you suffering yourself? We never come along like a mother, like a daughter. Whenever she wants to talk to me, I will always make her to understand that I'm older than her, but she never understands me. When I look at her, she will always see, she will say that that's your cat's eyes. What can you do with it? You have, I said that you don't, I just speak in me, you don't know. So when I look at men with their eyes, I don't look you two times. And when I want to look men or if I want to accomplish my desire, I will peel my body. I'll become very glitter like a snake. So that when I pass, you will be lost of my beauty. And my eyes will make you to weak. You will not have anything to say. You keep on fooling me to say what you want to say. And when I have sex with you, know that you are shattered. If I don't love you, you are finished. If you lost after me, you young man, know that anything you do, you always find disappointment, stagnation. Nobody will like to give you a job. Nobody will love you in the society. Your business will tumble everything will stop your marital life, will be too slow. When I was there, they said, I don't have to get married. I have to remain the queen mother that I am. I have to keep my dignity. I don't have to go around with men here. So I saw myself, I was hearing a story that I'm the only child of my physical father. So I started saying, but if this man do not give birth to any child and I come to this world through him, and I don't give birth to my own children, it means our lineage is going to end like that. I decided to go into marriage, have my own children. I started falling in love with the things I'm seeing in the physical world. So I have two children for two men. The first man that I have the child with, 
The spiritual husband has to make him to go down. Everything, he was a medical doctor. He has to run down in everything that he's doing because I was not supposed to get married. And I firstly myself to get married and give birth to the man. And the second one is the same thing. Even though he was a farmer, but the man was doing good. But I, they, they have to stop everything. I have to make them have stagnation. The worst part of it is that when I'm angry, when I touch your nose, you can bleed from now to tomorrow. If I touch your phone score, you will bleed and have serious frontal headache. And if I touch your back that I'm angry, I speak a word that this is your back as I'm touching it. You remain an old mother till the day I will be happy. I did that thing once in my cousin. So I touched her back that I was very annoyed. She had to beat me on my back, knowing fully where she knows my secret that nobody slapped me on my neck. So I touched her back. I told her that see, the day you uplift my spirit before you got up. So she started walking like an old mother, passing through pain, and they have to kill me a fowl, dance for me, sing for me when I'm happy. And then I come and touch her back to get up and be fine. When I'm angry, I will make everywhere to be snake. When my stepfather, they were in church praying, I wanted to come out my snake. I wanted to go out for mission. They were early there, fire, 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 fire. So the thing was really bothering me. I have to run inside the church and say that, Sineko, Sineko, my mother, they said that, where is the snake? I said, it has entered inside my father's trouser. My father has to trip down himself naked in the church to look for that snake, and they never saw it. Your father removed trouser in the church? Yes, man of God. Ton père s'est déshabillé à l'église. I hope they did not see. J'espère qu'on n'a rien vu. The time I started consulting people, my husband, my spiritual husband came to me. I have to lose to myself. I run to the bush. She showed me two grass. I have to run with it to my mother. I asked my mother to choose. My mother never knew what I was asking her to choose. If she could have chosen the last one, I could have used her as a sacrifice for my medicine to become an herbalist. So people were coming to me to take charms. For those that they want to give birth, they will come for me. I will give them the wrong children. When you come that you are, you are possessed or you have, been, you have joined a court and you want to come out, I will remove you from where you are and I will initiate you to my court, to my own kingdom. Instead, you will be seeing yourself in the night. You think that, no, that woman has freed me. That little girl has freed me. Never knew you are my slave in my kingdom. So all the children that I gave those women, they were not real children. They were prostitutes, they would be drunkards, drug artists, all those kind of things. I would take all their destiny and I would give you the empty child. So people come to you for children? Yes, sir. Are they real children you give them? No, sir. I give them snakes, chameleons, vipers. I can even give you a child that is a thunder. You think that you are carrying a child. A thunder, when I give you a thunder, you will never have peace in your house. That child will always like, gag, 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 gag. All the time in your house, you will always have him scratch with that child. The mother is sweating. Is she talking like someone who is guessing? Huh? Elle n'est pas en train de tâtonner. For you to vies. know that this war is full of mystery. There's no neutral ground. It's either you belong to God or you belong to Satan. She must be very surprised because she has never knew who I am. This is her first day that she's... This is her me. first day? Yes, sir. She is getting to know who you are? Yes, sir. I was always a chameleon hiding in the shells. It became a time that even my uncle wife started pressing me. He went to other rich doctors to see who am I? Because any time that she plots an evil in our compound, I'll always meet her and tell her that the far, in fan your rose, what you are doing, I don't like it. It's only her that knows who I am. So she was struggling to kill me and my uncle. I always defending my mother, elder brother. I am not in their lineage. I just choose her as a passage. I am nobody to them, nobody. Yeah. So I'm just a goddess. I admire the world and I wanted to do destruction into this world. That is why I came. Amen. Amen. God just allowed this for you to know that we are in the world, but we are not part of the world. You come to church, dear parents. Do not be lukewarm. Always meditating. Because when I was small, my mother always said, pray, 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 pray. If I pray, heaven will come down. 
but it was not real. Everything I was doing is just to cover up. I made people to understand that I love God so much. I was making them to understand that they are worshiping beneath their God. So when my mother said that, hey, da 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 da, I always say her that, Masa, when I stop that, when I noise. Because if I want to pray, I will pray more than you people. You said I go to church, pray. When she wants to pray, her prayer will always affect me or fall asleep. When I want to shout, I'll say, what is it? I'll pray in my own closet. So stop disturbing me. So the time I started loving the things of God, my eyes started opening. I decided to live as a human. All the time, if you could have always seen my body, I'm always like a snake. Cranky, no matter the kind of oil that I will rub, I'll always look like I'm having a shares in me. It's only people that will see me and say that, no, this child like this is possessed. Those that know spiritual things. I've gone to so many churches. I've destroyed so many pastors. How? Comment avez-vous détruit ces When you want to pray for me, I will pretend as if I'm delivered. When I fell off, I will turn a python. When I turn a python in the night, I will sleep out of the church. My body will remain there. In the night, when you are sleeping, I will come and meet you in your dream. I told you that this is me you wanted to deliver. So I've come now to deliver you. Instead of you delivering me, I will deliver you this moment. And I will give the people more extra powers. When they come to church, they'll be saying that, in the name of Jesus, out. As they are casting out, I'm the one that is taking the people to my kingdom. But do you do that in a living church? I could not do it because even with my mother, I tried so many times, but her power was too much. Even the day I heard of Senior Apostle John, she came into Cameroon. I said, eh, hey, I'm going to taste that man. So the day I said, I'm going to taste you, you came to my dream. Instead of me tasting you, you removed the power of me, and I felt on your leg, I was shouting, Daddy, help me, help me. So as you sat in the dream like that, you raise your hand up, a light flashed out from your hand and a fire came out from your face. And you held my hand and said, my daughter, get off from today, you will be my disciple. Follow me. You walked two meters ahead of me and you disappeared with me and you entered a very beautiful house and said from today, this is my kingdom. This is where I'm going to worship God with all my life. I got up, I explained the dream to my mother. So when you came there, I came the other time. In church, Python said that I should attack the man of God. I stood. You came and you were going round. The time you started coming to me, my face was like the poor hot fire on my face. I could not resist myself. I had to run. The ushers caught me. So the time I wanted to leave their kingdom, they started tormenting my life. Started telling me that if I have to leave them, they have to take everything that I have. They have to take off my crown, take my powers. And the time they did, they have to blind my eyes that I have gone against the rules. I'm not only going against the rules, I've gone out with men. I have given birth to children, so I'm no more part of them. So the children that I gave birth to, the girl, one, the first girl, came out with beers on, his, on her armpit and her private. The child you gave birth to? Yes, man of God. Came out with what? with beers on her armpit and her vagina. A little like that? Yes, sir. And the boy on came out with razor blade. The razor that they have got seven marks on her hand with a two molars on his mouth. So the time I said I want to leave them, they had to inflict me with an illness. They have to put stone in the form of boys on my body. The boys can never soft. Who will just be there tormenting me on and off, on and off. Until they have to take me to a witch doctor. They have to try their under the coat but they could not see do it. It's just my spiritual husband that came and took it, knowing fully well that if I'm leaving the kingdom, I cannot leave him because we took an oath on the day of my delivery. So I started going to other witch doctors to seek for help. The first native doctor that I went, the witch doctor that I went, he gave me a substance that when I want to sleep, I should burn it in my room. When I burn it, I should not open my door till tomorrow. So fortunately, I had my room. When I want to go to bed, my mother will go to bed. I will burn it inside my room. Nobody will know what is happening. Still yet, it never worked. The more I burn, the more I'm provoking them. 
So I went to another place. They have to catch hot fowl, cut the fowl from the heart, and remove the raw heart and give me to swallow. If you raw meat of a dog, let me eat it. But still yet to no avail. So the time I dreamed that man of God prayed for me, I was delivered completely. So I have to find myself here. On to thank God, I met my fiance. He started encouraging me. Ma, you have to pray. Ma, you have to give your life to Christ. So he brought me here and finally, where I am today, the man of God finally exposed me and removed the crown of me and removed my shadow out of me and showed who I am in the world. Destiny has power. Let someone say, destiny has power. La destiny a de la puissance. Yes. Many of you here, you came here through revelation. Your encounter started at home and was finalized here. If God has destined you to be set free through me, you will find your way. You don't know what will happen, how it will happen, but you will find yourself here. Because the scripture says, no one can come to me unless the Father brings him. So if you have been destined to be free by God, he will make a way. That is why for her, she was destined to be set free, to be separated from the kingdom. What's and that? her freedom started in the spirit. That is why many of you here, I don't know you physically, but I know you in your places. So since I had my delivery, the man of God appointed me and prayed for me. The boys that came out for my body, I'm no more seeing all those things. Even the spiritual husband that used to come to me, I'm no more seeing it. Even the powers in my eyes, I could no more see anything. My eyes, the power of my eyes lost, even in my hands. So I'm here to glorify God for what he has done for me. But were you not surprised for me to just walk to you? I'm beginning to tell you about your life. Daddy, I was really shocked sure because even when you were coming closer to me, I had to hide myself, but it was not going. So I was, you, the time you stood to me is that, Madam, can I talk to you? I was really embarrassed. I said, ah, oh, it means it has happened. So we exposed me and it put me into shame. My name's uh, Pastor Rose Fu. You're a pastor? Yes, Daddy. Mama, you are pastor? Yes, daddy. Wow! Uh, the girl speaking is my first daughter. And he's the fiance. The, I can say the medium that God used so that we can reach you. Because anytime I prepare that, that uh, Apostle John Chida, she is seen in the vision. Let me struggle and gather small money who pay transport and go there. Even if I hold the money, I will not have the i actually want to confirm the prophecy of the man of god and i want to be, actually believe that there is time for everything yes the bible says sorrow will tarry for a night but joy come in the morning i am confirming the prophecy of the man of god he said that the birth of this child was a mystery yes it's very very true because i became pregnant in polish I did not want anybody to know because I know that all the friends around me they advise me to go and do abortion. So I hide the pregnancy. And not only doing abortion, my father too was very wild. So if my father had, he was always beating me with colas when I don't know man. So if I, if I make him to know, he can kill me. That is why I had to hide it. So as I hide it, nobody knew until eight months, two weeks. So as I was sleeping one day like this, one woman saw my stomach and told my mother that that child is sleeping like that. The stomach is not going down. It means the child is pregnant. So my mother came in the evening and asked me that, I am your mother, I am everything for you. Tell me the truth. So I told her, I just answered everything. I told her that I'm pregnant. My mother could not tell my father because she was afraid that my, my father would kill her too. In the course of time, my mother took me now to hospital. After 10 months something, I, as a young girl, I said, let me look for small money. I bought only four fish. So as I, I went out of the gate like that, I was roasting the fish. So as I was roasting the fish, a man came, a short man with a raincoat. And then the man was coming. The man was coming. So the man went to the other, the opposite store, opposite me. And then he begged for food. They refused to give him. 
He went to the other store. The man was having twins. He begged for food. They refused to give him. So he came now to me. He sat at the edge of that bench where I was sitting. And then he greeted me. I answered. I saw his hands as if water it was from... That it seems as rain has beat him too. So he asked me that if he buy me fish for 150 francs, I will buy him bread. My spirit told me yes. So me too, I told him that yes. I gave 50. They went and bought blockade and brought it. I gave the man fish. He ate. He shifted now and came closer a bit. And he asked me that if I buy another fish, will you give me, buy me bread? As he said yes. So we bought now bread, that is bread for 100. He has bought my two fish only for 200. And he, even the first money he has not given me. So I gave him, I packed the pepper now. My, my spirit told me that if this is temptation that this man is bringing, I will give him all this fish to eat it. So he opened, he uh, carried that raincoat up and I saw his ear. The ear was around here, around here. The so funny ear like that. Uh -huh. So I did not laugh, I did not, God just kept me, I, I was not afraid. So I, I said, where well, Asha, if man never died for the way, you know, sitting there more, Asha. So he told me that he's an accident man, that he fell off from a vehicle, and he had this accident, so he's moving now and begging, he cannot walk on his own. I said, no, Papa, don't worry, eat the fish, eat. So I bought the bread again, he ate that number two fish. After eating, he shifted again a bit and came closer a bit again. As he came closer, he carried a raincoat and he showed me this is his hand. The hand was, as, the one was as if the hand was right down here, a funny hand. So I said, where, well, Papa? That accident is serious, so thank God for you that you are even alive. We will continue to help you. People will continue to help you. As you said that you are begging from market to market, people will be helping you, people will be helping you. So. He asked me again that if I, if I buy fish again, will you give me a bread? I said, yes. He shifted and come a little bit closer to my body. Then my, my, my mind, I wanted to be afraid. I took courage because I thought that if I run, the man would know that I've, I've run away. I just took courage. I said, I gave him the number three fish. Then my brother went to the house and told my mother that that fish that rose has carried to the road, that this big man has taken all the fish. So my mother asked me that, who sent her to sell the fish? And what is she doing there? And before then, I was feeling labor. I was just struggling to burn that four fish, whether I would have money. I didn't even know I was even burning the fish. So I didn't even know whether the man even finally gave me the 450 euro. I don't even know because after that, the, he told me that, can I come and stay with you? I said, no, I'm still with my, my parents. I'm still very young. I'm still with my parents. So if I take you, you, you not have space. So he said, so you know, get no place where we stay. Or for some place where we stay. I said, no, I don't have any place that you can stay. So he said, well, anything you want, let it come faster. I said, thank you, Papa. So he left and he was going down. Uh, as he was going down, I looked again. I did not see the man. And he promised me that I'll be seeing him in markets. I, I, I've never seen him in any market. I've never seen him again anywhere. As the man went, the labor ceased. The next morning, around 11 o'clock, this labor started where my mother had gone to the farm. My father has also gone to the farm. So there was nobody at home. They went and called one woman. The woman came and asked me, that, are you pregnant? I said, yes. Before she said, I pressed. She said, they went and looked for a taxi, and the taxi took me now to Mount Mary. As we were entering the, 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 the hospital, so the, the nurses, they thought that it was Dr. Biaka coming to rescue one woman. Before they came, they saw me, the child's legs came out. So that woman that she's talking held the two legs with her hand so that one leg should not go inside. So as we came there, the body came out now, then the umbilical cord now ra wrapped the neck, wrapped the neck. Yes, inside, I deliver inside the taxi. And you deliver this baby inside the taxi? Yes. This girl? Yes. You deliver her inside the taxi? Yes, when she came out, I, I saw a wound on the right hand, all wound, and I saw another wound on the right hand, all wound, a wound that is almost finished, all the two hands. I say, hey, how can somebody come out from the stomach? Then she was black, very black. I say, then she weighed only two points, something. I say, somebody has come out, who know? My mother came and saw her. She was there small. So after I went back to the house, around one week, some, that one child, one, that other child died. That, that mom went and begged from the house. The child died. Gave some time again. These other twins, that the man went and begged food, the, the twins also died. So the houses the man visited, the yes. children died? Yes, that's him. 
all the houses. Yes, this one lost that twist, and the other man lost that one child. Where the man went and begged food, and they refused. So, as the child was there, I was breastfeeding the child. At times, when I had to breastfeed the child, she would carry her head up like this. And she would carry her up, and I would shout and, 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 and throw her. I, would, I thought she wanted to transform the snake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> To transform the world. <laughs> what happened when you breastfeed her? She made like this. Face. And what do you see? She made like this. I just like, as I'll carry her like this, I'll pull her down. <laughs> so when she never walked, the one year, six months, one year, seven months, she was always there. But if you keep her, she will pull and leave the place and sit near the pupu, but you will not see pupu on her body. But you come, her pupu is there. If you give her food, she will eat the food. But you will not see when she's eating, and you will not see when she's pupuing. So they told me that this kind, uh, uh, one lady is good at, I should cook food, red beans and rice. Then I should give her own fish, one for one. Then I should cut the other one for the other children. Then I should call twins children. That when they eat, they should come and hold their leg, that walk like us, walk like us, before the other children will follow and come and do it. So I did it, I removed it, I put it outside. When I called those three children, she was refusing that they should not hold her leg. Then we forced her and they hold the leg. Then she ate all that food, that, that big plate and that fish, she ate it all. Everybody ate and they went. The third day now, my mother sent me to the house. I went to the corridor, she was already walking and going. She removed two steps, I ran and called for my mother. My mother came and shouted at her. That was refusing that she should not walk. She just turned and looked at my mother like that, continue walking. She did not sit again on the ground. She just continued walking till today. My elder brother said we should go and put her beside the water so that she should go her. And my mother refused that. No, they cannot throw a child like that. My, my elder brother said they don't throw the child near the water. She, he will leave the house. My mother said that she, he should leave the house. So finally, we were taking care of her. My mother took her to the village. In the village, she had to suffer my mother. If she wants to see me, she will be sick. And then you will take her and you give her to another person who can run very well, and they give her to another person who can run very well, so that they reach the hospital very fast. They can spend money at times, and then she'll come back to the house. There are times when they spend money, the one to choke her, she'll tell the nurse that, no, took me again. I want to go now for my mommy. That she will say what? That don't give me any injection again. I want to go back to my mother. So now they call me that I should come. That, uh, that child is disturbing too much. That she's disturbing too much. People tell her that she is big. I say, I am the one who deliver you. I am the one who knows your age. You are big, how? So people tell her that she's 30 years. They put her, I say, so, miss, you are bigger than, why are you big? She will tell me that I am big. Then she'll open her eyes. you open her eyes on me. I say, I am big. She will, she'll always be one to wild to me. I say, me, I have delivered. You can never be above me. So finally now, I want to thank God for what God has passed to man of God to do. Yes, actually, it's wonderful. Mm. I actually want to thank God. I want to give God glory. Because actually there's a fullness of time for everything. If you saw her when she came, she was fat. She was as if she don't have blood in her body. She was ugly. Anywhere I say, it's my child. I'll say, no, it's not your child. That she's older. Everywhere I say, but now I can see her beautiful. And she can even touch my dress. Today I saw her wearing my dress. That mommy, I like this one. I like this one. I say, Papa God, thank you for what you have done. Because all this time we are only with paralyzed. We could not discuss together. We could not sit as... A mother and child to even discuss anything. So I want to thank God for what God has passed through the man of God to do in the life of my daughter. Okay, can we take one or two questions? Because you have heard from her. She was a personality, not just any kind. The mom is just learning today for the first time. Okay, you have a question to ask her. My name is John Daniel Fai. I'm in base in Boya. Because you said about things that you were so very young, one month, two months, and a couple of years behind. How did you get to know about all these things that you're able to relate them today? I conceive myself in my mother's womb. So, and I'm ancient God, 400 years. I was 400 years at that. So everything from the conceivement to everything to my date of birth, I knew everything that was happening to me. Love for Jesus. I'm Felicitas coming from Limbe. Uh, I wish to ask, he said he destroyed men. When you sleep with men, their destinies are destroyed. So I wish to ask, 
Could you really sleep with a genuine child of God and destroy the destiny? Or you knew the kind of men you were sleeping with? Then I want to know the altar, the birth for you. Was it a physical or a spiritual altar? If you are a genuine man, you will not fall lost for a woman. The altar that they built for me, it was a physical altar so that I can be honored in, my, in, in the world and in my own underworld. Physical but, altar that they have to go and worship, do sacrifices for her. Are you okay with that? Yes, sir. Thank okay. You. Calvin is my name from Boya. Well, she made mention of um, having a snake that enters people's house and get information and tell her when you hide money, this and that. I would just want her to like educate us. Just like the sister said, what if this house, they are genuine believers? Can you penetrate? And what if they are lukewarm? Because there are some of us that like our daddy said, you are a, you are a Christian in the morning, at noon, you are an unbeliever, in the evening you are struggling to come back. How do you penetrate such houses? If it's a genuine house, a woman is a weekly in that house. We always use the woman as a point of contact to get into the house. If your woman is prayerful like how, there is, a, there is a day that she'll be upset, or there is a means that she will use to get you angry, and in a little scratch, that is how we, in, we back in our journey. Um, by name Fidelia. My question to her is, she, she made mention of the fact that she too had two children who were born with defects. Like having pubic hairs and I think wounds as they were born. So I wish to like find out if the children too are on a mission. <laughs> <laughs> My children that I give birth, they are prophets and prophetess in Christ Jesus. The, the matter that they came with all those things, but they are so powerful. Even I myself, I even tried to initiate my daughter because I knew that I was supposed to die bad. The power in her, I could not face her. She is very powerful and intelligent. Even the son, he always told me, Mommy, I'm the boss in this house. I will be a man of God. I will be a pastor. They are not any of my lineage. Yes, it is true. Those children came through her. They still need God. It says on four. Okay? Yes. Every home has a savior. Even if all the children are possessed, one is step aside for God. Même si tous les enfants sont possédés, un est mis à part pour Dieu. Every home, if you have three, four children, one out of those children is not in the same lineage with them. So one will always be the savior of that home. If you have children, all are pastors or children of God. One out of them will be the opposition. Like what she said, these children, the hand of God is upon them. Oh. And now the grace of God that is backing their grandmother here is also upon them. Et la grâce de Dieu... Because these children are always with our grandmother here. Mm -hmm. And being a prayerful woman, they cannot have access. Certainly. If these children were with her by now, she would have weakened them. That is why a prayerless home is a godless home. I'm Barista Mom from Limbe. I want to find out from our sister. She says she has initiated so many children, men and other people. I want to know, now that she is released from that kingdom, what becomes of those men, those children that she took to that kingdom? Will they be remain there or they will need somebody to, to free them from there? When the Almighty God delivers you when you are a member, definitely your victims are also free. She was not just a worker. She was a boss. And whoever she captured was under her captivity. If God now frees her, those people too are free. I'm beloved. I'm from Yaoundé. The question I want to ask our sister is that 
how did she get pregnant up to two times with all the power she was having and she was also having a spiritual husband? How did the men got her pregnant and went scot free? When I know demons have power, they, they afflict, they have power to, to destroy. I went in for the pregnancy because I know if I got pregnant or if I disvirgin myself, I'm going to be free. So it was my command, either I want to be free or not, if I want to destroy you or not. So it was not in opposition of any other demon because I was the mother in the house. Are you okay with that? Yes, daddy. Oh, what? you want her to clarify your mom? What of the men? The men that impregnated her and just went and abandoned her with the babies. Going in for them was not that I wanted to be married because I know any moment of my delivering, I can, go, I can leave the world. So my problem was that I wanted to leave a name in this world that Laurena gave birth to children. So I was not, they don't have any harm. I have not given them any harm. So they, they, they themselves also carry a curse that is even more than them. So me cursing them is like I want to kill them. So they already have more than what I can give them. <laughs> <laughs> if they were responsible, they would have come for the children. So they carry what is more than them. So adding it to it is like killing them. May God have mercy on them. This lady you see here, just watch and see the testimony. She is the best woman you can ever talk of now. She is just ordinary like any other person now. That divine nature of Satan that was operating had been removed by Jesus Christ himself. When the Son sets you free, you are free indeed. So you see, her deliverance started before her coming here. Coming here was just to perfect it. My advice go especially for pregnant women. Pregnant women, be very careful the time you walk. If in the house are people, you'll be pregnant, somebody will come and touch your stomach. Money, money, money. Be very careful and be vigilant, my dear. And my advice go to young guys outside. Don't be lost after women. Um, that girl is beautiful. I'm lost of her. Carry your waist and begin to lose of them. When you are lost, you will carry the lostest. Everything about you will be shattered. So young men, I'm advising you, control your waist and tie your belt firm. Love for Jesus Christ. for Jesus Christ. Mothers, fathers, brothers, and sisters. Some of us that we are still going for idols worship. Please, Marabu does not pay. Satan does not give something that you enjoy is forever. When he gives you with his right hand, definitely he will take it with his left hand. And as you are going to wish doctors, know that what you are going to take is beyond your expectation. You will never come out with something good but you have lost out all your destiny. If you find yourself in my situation when I was, or in any ugly situation that you found yourself, run to Master Jesus, because he is the final say. He can give you whatever thing you want, because after all what I have, every power that I have, I have money in my account that I could not do everything, anything with it in the spiritual world. But why in the physical I was like a church rat? So please, it's not funny. It's not a drama I'm acting here. But please, look up to Jesus. Run with the little problem you have. Anything that comes to a man is equal to that person. Which means any situation you found yourself into, not that that problem is coming to take your life. Run to Master Jesus, and you will have your solution in Jesus' name. Yes, I just want to thank God for bringing an end. I want to honor God. I want to bless God, and I want to advise anybody that hold God firm. And I want to join your ministry. Je veux joindre votre ministère, madame. I'm going to pray with you. Je vais prier avec vous. 
and you go ahead and do the work of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You will be here until you reach a certain level. I will now allow you to go. Alors, madame, vous serez avec moi ici pour un bon bout de temps afin que vous soyez plus affermi spirituellement pour que je vous relâche. Whatsoever situation you find yourself in, do not give up. Keep believing God. The better is not enough. The best is yet to come. Thank you.